Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Black Hat is the leader of the Black Hat organization, a cause-like organization which helps villains. Not much is known about him aside from being a sadistic and for some seemingly immortal demonic entity with virtually no redeemable qualities. His rage created a volcanic eruption of Pompeii, physically making him large mountain level. With his hacks, he was able to corrupt an entire sun, can grow enough to be compared to a solar system, and percent with subjective reality, he was able to create a book with over 3556 realities, which was recognized as different realities by a creature who tracked people when they went to different realities, making his abilities multiversal level. He is above Dr. Flug, who was able to dodge lasers from the Black Hat Organization security system. He vaporized a planet in another solar system in 0.73 seconds, making him massively faster than Light Plus. He was able to withstand being part of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. He called himself the architect of the perfect conquest that has led to the conquering of innumerable planets and percent entire civilizations. He can be ill-tempered and percent impatient. He despises anything cute, lovely, or heroic. He can be summoned against his will. Overall, even with those flaws, Black Hat still proves why he is the leader of the Black Hat organization. Lister was a radio host and percent serial killer from New Orleans, Louisiana before manifesting in hell as a result of a dog-related incident. Following his death and percent arriving in hell, he toppled over demons who had ruled over hell for centuries overnight, boasting power never seen before in a mortal soul, becoming an overlord by technicality. During this period, he broadcasted his carnage through the radio for the populace to witness, earning him the title of the Radio Demon. He doesn't fear Lucifer, and Persand instead shares a mutual respect with him, despite the former's overwhelming power. He was also able to push him back. As a fallen angel, Lucifer possesses angelic powers that trump the power of demons. Angels are stated to have expanded the universe. Lucifer is implied to have plans on creating his own solar system, making him solar system level. He is one of the most powerful beings in hell, possessing raw power that far exceeds that of other demons and percent rivals the most destructive evils of hell, and percent is debatably in the same league as Solus, who can fly away from a dying star in a short time frame, making him faster than Light Plus. He can take a blow from Adam the casual Lucifer, he can also generate a shadow barrier impenetrable by exorcism. Lister is cunning, deceitful, and percent manipulative, having been a serial killer during his time alive, retaining a state of unpredictability by feigning weakness and percent neglecting to use his powers, playing into his target's weaknesses, as seen when he antagonized Serpentius and percent sent him into a blind rage, and percent maintaining a charming and percent pleasant exterior in order to mask his malicious and percent tyrannical nature, opening up those around him to a false sense of security, all for his entertainment. Either through sheer strength, intelligence, or a combination of the two, he overthrew centuries old overlords and percent rose to break into me throughout hell all in one night, a testament to his ability. Lister 
Joker is not the kind of killer that follows or chases people since he has a strange ethical code against it. Demons can be truly killed by an angel's weapon or by angelic power. His cane is the source of his powers, if destroyed he will be weakened severely. Overall, even with those flaws, Lister still shows off why he is known as the Radio Demon. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. So looking at the stats, you can tell who wins. Lister is physically far stronger and more durable than Black Hat. However, Black Hat can fix that by growing to the size of the solar system. He'll be able to do this as he's millions of times faster than Lister. Not to mention that his abilities outclass Lister's by miles. Black Hat has used his abilities for a much longer time and is able to do more. So in conclusion, Black Hat wins due to being far faster, having more effective abilities, and being able to close the huge gaps in power. Next time on Total Fight Time. Welcome to the amazing Digital Circus! My name is Kane, I'm your ringmaster, and I'm here to show you the most jaw-dropping, heart-stopping, mind-bending paraphernalia you've ever laid your eyes upon! Isn't that right, Muddle? 